two sides take the field together, make their way towards the centre circle in preparation for a minute's silence for Mr Des Williams, the chairman of Bristol City Football Club, who died on Saturday the 23rd of February. Mr Ron Groves, the referee, will signal the start of a minute's silence by shrill blast on his whistle. really disgraceful performance from so-called football supporters who really do nothing for the game and nothing for the reputation of sport. The two teams have therefore taken to their respective ends of Newman now coming up to the centre circle to shake hands with Ron Grove. Groves along with the city mascot this evening whose name is Simon Allen. Simon lives in Banwell and is a pupil of Churchill Comprehensive School. Vaughan Jones of course the captain of Rovers. Rovers who have failed to win away from home this year and are just below City in the second division table. City, of course, suffering that defeat at Charlton on Saturday, which brought to an end three a, a run of three successive victories and uh, Rovers winning against Millwall. But both sides have injury problems. Dave Smith is missing for Bristol City. He is replaced by Louis Donovan in the number 11 shirt means a recall to the squad for Dave Rennie. Junior Bent has uh, dropped out after the last home game. And for Bristol Rovers, well, Steve Yates, uh, England under 21 international, is missing this evening. Billy Clark comes into the side. In an otherwise unchanged side, Ian Wilmot and Tony Seeley. Seeley, the scorer of Rovers' winner on Saturday on the substitute bench for. Bristol Rovers. It's going to be Bristol City to kick off towards the covered end of the ground as Mr Groves just checks with his linesman to see that everything is ready to get this game underway. Taylor plays it back for Newman. Newman to Scott and the big crowd here at Ashton Gate see the start of another local derby. Throw in then to Bristol City which is taken quickly by Newman played forward by Twentyman and his father as Martin Scott Andy Llewellyn forward for Taylor to chase but, uh, Jones is there gets it back to his keeper Brian Parkin Mr Groves the referee by the way a late replacement for David Ellery Mr Groves from just down the road in Western Supermare so, White and uh, Bryant battle for the ball. Scott gets there before Holloway and Donover now with a chance to run. Invades the challenge of uh, Ian Alexander, a rather coarse challenge there, but uh, he's going to run at the City defence at uh, 20 men across. 
and uh, the ball into touch for a throw in and uh, Bob Newman remonstrating there with uh, Ron Groves about the challenge by Alexander on uh, Donawa an early throw then for City in a dangerous place which Bryant will take long one into the area no doubt Newman is under this one it comes off the head of uh, Vaughan Jones falls for May and uh, put behind there by Twentyman as City start determinedly and he may will take the corner on that uh, far side the City left swing it in right footed as we come up to two minutes of this local derby May with the corner taken short for Donawa and uh, didn't quite get there May who comes away and uh, Saunders now will break but uh, can't direct his pass uh, Shelton trying to get Taylor in but uh, Parkin is there Parkin with the kick high towards Holloway gets the flick on but uh, Hazelwood is there Alexander finds Holloway, Holloway back to 20 minutes, uh, played forward but uh, only as far as Hazelwood who uh, sees his clearance go into touch just inside the Rovers half Alexander will take the throw in headed on by White only as far though as Hazelwood onto the head of Bob Taylor Morgan is there so too is Shelton and Shelton now with a bit of space on this left hand side makes ground towards the penalty area then he doesn't get the power in his cross and 21 is able to clear only though as far as Scott finds Donawa finds Newman Newman it's a chase for Jones and uh, Morgan Jones overruns the ball into touch for another throw in to Bristol City Bryant again across to take it long into the box Parking comes, doesn't get there but, uh, it's going to be Andy Reese to clear indeed Newman is in quickly throw into Bristol Rovers which skipper Vaughan Jones will take wins out finds Andy May May on the edge of the box checks back for Shelton Shelton gets in the cross it uh, comes off of Reese who uh, clears into touch Hazelwood takes quickly finds Shelton Shelton just plays it short to Llewellyn down the line for uh, Taylor Taylor finds Shelton Shelton to May May tries to get the ball inside of uh, Jones and Pounder but uh, again Pounder doesn't clear it but uh, across from Newman straight to Parkin he clears his lines as far as uh, White so Scott is there before the Mr. Rover striker and uh, leaning finds Llewellyn Ball played into touch by Clark, taking no chances at all. Not really under too much pressure there, but uh, it's going to be a throw to Bristol City, which May takes. Good ball to Donawa. Donawa to Morgan. Morgan is in, and he's hit the post, and it's behind off the post, and possibly off of Ian Holloway because it's a corner to. Uh, Bristol City, and that's a deep cross there from Mark Hazelwood, which Donawa headed back into the middle, and uh, somehow Rovers kept the ball out. It's a corner though to Bristol City. Scott to take it. It's headed behind for another corner. So a good start here by Bristol City. Six minutes gone. City nil, Rovers nil. City doing the pressing as Scott takes the corner again. 
Newman hooks it back, falls for Donoa. It's hooked away by Mayhew, only as far as Hazelwood. Finds May. May to Newman. Newman. Will he get a shot in? He does. It comes off of uh, Jeff Twentyman. Finds Alexander. Alexander loses out to Newman, does he? But, uh, does well there, does the Sit Rovers fullback. But uh, his clearance is not a good one, but that's not a good ball from uh, Llewellyn. And now Saunders has got a chance to break for, for Rovers. Finds Holloway. White over the far side. He's in a good position. There's White. The ball is hit too long, and it's behind for a goal kick to Bristol City. City perhaps a little exposed there, and uh, the ball from Holloway played too far in front of uh, Devon White. And City get a goal kick. White challenges for the ball, Holloway loses out to uh, Donawa. Donawa leaves the ball there for uh, Shelton. It's played on for Saunders. Saunders with Bryant. Saunders goes down, Mr Groves gives the free kick. So a dangerous position here for City. Holloway over the ball with Andy Reese. Reese moves away. Mr. Grove still wants the city wall back ten yards. Holloway will take the free kick. Takes most of the dead ball kicks for Rovers. It's floated in. No problems there for Andy Leaney it all the way, gathers it under no pressure whatsoever. Taylor's under this one, but uh, loses out to Billy Clark. Ball is played forward, but uh, it's City will come away with it. Llewellyn keeps it in play, finds Andy May in space in midfield over the halfway line. Good run by Shelton, deep in the Rovers' half. Checks back for Andy May. Taylor gets the head in. But also an elbow on Clark. So it's a free kick to Bristol Rovers. Bright start to the game. But with uh, just nine minutes gone, it's City nil, Rovers nil. Parking. Kicks right-footed. White wins the ball in the air. Llewellyn is in. Bravely. May and Shelton and uh, Newman all in the action there as the ball falls for Holloway. Holloway forward for White. And uh, challenge in from uh, Matty Bryant. And the big rover striker gets the ball back to Andy Leaning. Leaning just plays it forward for Mark Hazelwood. Hazelwood to Llewellyn and Taylor, good ball forward, Morgan is onside but uh, Parkin is out quickly in the uh, ball, still not cleared but uh, Alexander gets things under control, gets the ball back to uh, Parkin and uh, Morgan got a bang on the knee there for his pains he's probably going to need some treatment as if Mr Grove spots him he does now he's going to see whether Nicky Morgan is alright there's Buster Footman coming out just to have a look at Nicky Morgan Morgan, City's leading goal scorer. Nine goals in the league. Four in the cup competition, so it's 13 goals in all. 
and uh, really has held the City front line together this season. It uh, looks as though, in fact, it wasn't uh, his knee that got a knock, it might well have been his arm. As Rovers got a throw in, Saunders tries to uh, find Pounder, it's cut out by Andy May. Newman to May, finds Scott. Scott looking for Taylor, finds him. Now Donawa, Donawa, good ball to Morgan. Can Morgan get in a shot? He does, but it's over the top. And, uh, well, Rovers carved open again there by some incisive play by Morgan and Donawa. But still, we're goalless here at Ashton Gate. As Parkin prepares to take the goal kick for Bristol Rovers. Scott, a long ball forward. Donovan will chase, but uh, Alexander there well in time. Gets the throw, in fact, off of the City winger. First time that Donova has played on the left wing for City this season. Dave Smith, of course, out with a hamstring injury tonight. Throw in there to Rovers, which Ian Alexander will take. Headed on by White for Saunders. Shelton is in. Gets the ball back to Andy Leaning. This time Leaning will kick long. Only the players there as Newman heads the ball on. Jones is in quickly. So calls for Bryant who. Uh, Many played into touch. I think uh, the crowd perhaps thought that uh, there was a late challenge by Devon White there. As uh, Jones takes the throw for Rovers, it's headed back by Bryant. Llewellyn to Shelton, but it's hooked on by Pounder and uh, watched back to leaning by Marquez Wood. Ball soon with uh, Martin Scott. forward only onto the head of uh, Clark but uh, it breaks for Morgan to Taylor Taylor oh he's missed his kick and uh, that was a golden opportunity for uh, Bristol City and uh, well this time last year Bob Taylor was putting those in the back of the net I'm not really thinking about it but this time he's just got his feet twisted a little bit there and the chance lost So Shelton with the ball, finds Llewellyn, can he get in his cross? He does so, it's headed out by Clark, falls for May though, not cleared by uh, Rovers, header by Taylor, off the line by uh, Twentyman, Donovan has a shot and it's put behind finally as Rovers in all sorts of problems there. Well, I think it was Andy Reese who put it behind, a corner then to Bristol City, which Scott will take. Scott with the corner. Headed on by Newman. It's away again. Donawa over the top. Well, Rovers living dangerously. But still on terms. As we come up to 16 minutes of this game. But certainly the Rovers' defence have been tested and have been opened up. A goal kick then to Bristol Rovers.
White on only as far as Llewellyn Donawa can he keep this one in he does no he doesn't Mr Groves awards the throw in to Bristol Rovers it's going to be Alexander with that throw in White loses out to Hazelwood but uh, the ball is played forward for Mayhew Mayhew goes down and uh, Leaning gathers, May who beats the ground, perhaps he thought there might have been a trip, but uh, Mr Grove not impressed, and the ball is with Morgan, balls for Donoa, leaves it eventually for Shelton, it's played back by Morgan to Scott, there's an offside flag up, and uh, Mr Groves has given the free kick to Bristol Rovers. back to Brian Parkin again City win out in the air May and Twentyman tangle there ball with Vaughan Jones I think this one will go back to his goalkeeper Parkin it does Saunders finds Pounder. Pounder, will he take on Andy Llewellyn? Tries to, gets the ball back on his right foot. Plays the ball in. Played on by uh, Reese there. And uh, Newman gets the better of Holloway. And uh, has to concede a throw in, which Jones will take. I'm sure it'll be a long one into the box. Big Devon White waiting, just to prove me wrong. Comes it short to Reese. So the cross from Jones is blocked, and now City have a chance to come away. May finding Donawa on that left flank. Donawa already had a couple of runs at the Rovers' defence. Finds Hazelwood. Hazelwood almost through there to uh, Taylor, but uh, Billy Clark in the way, and Holloway comes away. Finds Devon White, and uh, Mayhew waiting for that one. He's uh, robbed of the ball at the expense of a throw in, which uh, Alexander will take. And Scott this time wins out in the aerial tussle with Devon White. Another throw to Bristol Rovers. Hazelwood is there. Finds Newman. Newman plays it back to his keeper, Andy Leaning. Morgan, almost uh, a good ball for Taylor, but uh, Clark is there. Throw into City. Newman will take it, just inside his own half. Hazelwood stumbles, but uh, ball falls for Scott. Alexander can only play it back into touch on that far side of the field. Clark is there to intercept, but uh, May is in quickly to Rob Holloway and Donawa now has got a chance gets in across but this time it's behind and wasted a goal kick to Bristol Rovers which Parkin will take players waiting in the middle then as Donawa got away on the far side and uh, Still people trying to get into this local derby. Having played 21 minutes. And 
City in those 21 minutes having very much the better of play the ball though at the moment with Andy leaning long kick forward finds the head of Taylor ball is played forward for White to Saunders Saunders forward into space but uh, only finds Andy Llewellyn although Reese is in pursuit no danger to City there so Pounder on the ball tries to keep it in does so no, he doesn't. Mr. Groves again awards the throw-in. Andy May takes it short to Andy Llewellyn. And, uh, so good defending there by Alexander, getting the ball back to his keeper, Parkin, under pressure. One kick. White and Bryant tangle. Balls for May to Saunders to Pounder. Pounder blocked by uh, Bryant. Pounder again on the ball. Plays it back for Holloway. Holloway in towards White. Still not cleared by City as uh, Mayhew retrieves. And then his cross. Then he finds Scott. Scott to Donawa. Donawa cuts inside. Plays it. Short to Shelton, who uh, gets Newman away. Newman, though, overruns the ball. Loses out to Alexander. Now Holloway for Rovers. But uh, Lewin is there, cuts the ball out. And uh, rough and tumble at the moment as uh, Jones now tries to set something up. And the ball finally back to leaning by Rob Newman. Llewellyn on the ball. Park in again to deny Taylor a run down that right flank. It's Andy May, takes the throw quickly. And 20 men up, Pounder in the way as far as Andy Llewellyn, who sold uh, Andy May a bit short there, but ball with uh, Newman and uh, Taylor in with Clark on this one, but uh, Parkin is there. Twenty-four minutes gone. City nil, Rovers nil. Donawa under this one, headed forward, but uh, Holloway cleans up for Rovers. Finds Twentyman, and plays it back to his goalkeeper, Parkin. Um, under this one, finds. Shelton, but uh, Pounder for Rovers to Holloway, Holloway to Jones, who then finds Clark. The ball played forward for Devon White, who knocks it down for Holloway, and the shot from Pounder just past the post. Good move there from Rovers, and uh, Pounder will be a little disappointed that he didn't hit the target. Goal kick though to Bristol City. Taylor with the knock on. Winter again in the air. Morgan towards Donawa, but Alexander is there, but May in quickly on Pounder. Clark forward. Munoz Farlow is uh, Andy May, but uh, now it's. Rovers turn to try to build, but uh, Azelwood is there, up over the halfway line, comes forward, finds Bob Taylor, Taylor on the right-hand side, gets in his cross, but uh, Twentyman is there again, and uh, Rovers can clear their lines. It's uh, Vaughan Jones, forward only as far, though, as uh, Matty Bryant. Bryant comes back, finds Andy Llewellyn, Llewellyn to May, and May into space space occupied finally by Billy Clark and uh, oh, Graham Jones almost got his defenders into a bit of trouble there but Saunders does well and then is brought down by uh, Rob Newman free kick to Bristol Rovers
Clark will take the free kick for Bristol Rovers. Headed on by Devon White. But, uh, directed only to Owens Andy Leaning. Taylor loses out to Clark. Some battling going on in midfield there between uh, Newman and uh, Devon White. It's Newman who wins on this occasion. Forward Bryant. Bryant Hazelwood. That's going to go back to Andy Leaning. Leaning in splendid form at the moment. His kick only finds Mayhew, but uh, drops well for City and Morgan now. Gets the ball through for Taylor and Parkin off. He's lying quickly and Parkin. A fumble there, which almost let Bob Taylor in. The keeper recovering in time. So, Llewellyn for City. Forward for May. May to Hazelwood. Ball forward for Donawa to chase. Can he get in on Alexander? Yes. And City for the uh, Rovers fullback. Uh, quick enough there to uh, get the ball back to Parkin, but I think he uh, suffered a knock there. Bryant forward for Vaughan Jones to uh, collect and then Andy May is a judge to have fouled Tony Pounder. He's going to get some treatment from Roy Dolin. And at the same time as I thought, Ian Alexander does need treatment. Getting that treatment from City physio Buster Footman. And, uh, looks as though he may well have got a knock on his thigh. Founder having attention to his ankle. Groves just having a word with the Rovers winger playing in non-league football this time last season Rovers mark in the uh, Rovers team signed from Weymouth Alexander still down and a little bit of concern some of his Rovers colleagues as Roy Dolin also goes across and a uh, little pass on the back for Buster Footman from uh, Roy Dolin as the two physios run off together it's going to be that uh, free kick for the foul on Pounder which Vaughan Jones will take Jones then with the kick towards Devon Wright, it's headed down but uh, Bob Taylor's back there defending and uh, City can come away now through Nicky Morgan but still the ball's not away Carl Saunders finds Tony Pounder, Pounder down this left hand side, cuts inside, Andy May is there Pounder falls over him and the ball now with Nicky Morgan Morgan can make ground down this right hand side, not a good ball this time but uh, Donawa does well to win the initial challenge and then Bob Taylor also gets in a good challenge as 20 men heads out that cross as far as Pounder and uh, the free kick will go to Bristol Rovers for the challenge by Nicky Morgan City nil, Rovers nil and we've been playing 31 minutes although we of course have had a stoppage in that time for the injuries to Alexander and Pounder. Parkin is the man with the ball at the moment. Yes. 
White is up with uh, Bryant. Newman tries to complete the uh, clearance, but the ball falls for the pounder. Back to Vaughan Jones, high up and under. But, uh, ball still not cleared by City yet, but they do now through uh, Bryant. Bryant to Louis Donawa, who certainly had an influence on this game so far. Donawa with uh, Alexander in front of him, and then uh, sent tumbling by uh, Andy Rees. Free kick then to Bristol City. Mark Hazelwood just having a chat with the referee. As Rob Newman prepares to take the free kick, plays it short to Hazelwood, to Donawa. Donawa with the cross, deep towards Bryant. And can Taylor get in on this one? No, it's just too far in front of the uh, City attacker but uh, Bryant getting up well there to that Donawa cross but it's a goal kick to Rovers which Parkin will take Sanders loses out to uh, Andy Llewellyn, in more ways than one, because City get the throw in. Andy May will take it. Plays it short to Shelton, gets it back. Played down the line, just too high for uh, Bob Taylor, and uh, Billy Clark will watch it back. And he play it back to his keeper, Brian Parkin. Saunders, Saunders, it's a better there of Bryant and uh, Shelton, goes down, and uh, well, Mr Groves a judge that that's a free kick, and uh, Saunders and uh, Llewellyn have uh, something to say to each other, a bit of pushing and shoving, but the result is still a free kick to Rovers Holloway is there so too is Vaughan Jones Mr Groves still not happy that the city wall is back far enough so a free kick Jones has a shot charged down falls for Holloway Holloway into the middle where Bob Newman Picks it up for City, gets Donawa into a bit of space. Donawa beats Alexander. Can he get uh, around Mayhew? He does. He gets in the cross. It's a good cross, and Parkin has to tip it over. It's a corner to City. And Donawa certainly has been a danger to the Rovers' defence this evening as May tries to get his way through Pounder, literally. And... Uh, Shelton concedes the uh, free kick as Buster Footman comes on to uh, treat Andy May. Andy May looks to be in a little bit of trouble. Seems to be his knee. Again, just having a word with the player. But, uh, certainly, City so far have uh, taken the honours. They've had chances to go in front and haven't taken them. Donora has been a source of problems to the Rovers' defence. And, uh, well, there haven't been too many clear-cut chances at the other end. Just one shot from Tony Pounder, which went past the post. As Andy May gets to his feet, it's still hobbling after that clash with uh, Tony Pounder it's going to be Jeff Twentyman with the free kick for the Rovers but 
long towards Devon White, but uh, again he loses out to Bryant. And City now trying to build through Shelton. Well then, puts the ball forward, but 20 is in quickly. And uh, on this occasion, Llewellyn lets the ball go and goes into touch for a, a throw in to Rovers. Vaughan Jones will take it eventually. Long towards Devon White. It's another throw to Rovers as both Wayne Allison and Dave Rennie warm up. Just out of our picture now as Jones plays the ball towards Saunders. And Andy May is still feeling that knock on his knee as the ball goes out for another throw into Rovers. Vaughan Jones will take it. Played towards the edge of the area for Saunders. Played back for Jones. Jones with the cross in. Devon White over the bar. Goal kick to Bristol City. Just about seven minutes to go to half time, plus the time added on for stoppages by Mr. Groves, and there have been two or three of those as Scott takes up the ball for City. This time, Donovan really given too much chance to uh, get that one under control so it goes through to Parkin we could well have conceded two or three goals in the opening 20 minutes as City got their game together but, uh, since that time it's been relatively quiet as May plays the ball down for Taylor and uh, Pounder brought down there by uh, Andy Llewellyn and I think that is going to be a booking for Andy Llewellyn it is as uh, Andy May I think is also going to limp off and indeed he is it's David Rennie who comes on for Andy May so the first booking of this local derby it's Andy Llewellyn for the foul on Tony Pounder and at the same time City make a substitution, it's David Rennie for Andy May. As Billy Carr prepares to take this free kick, White is up, and uh, once again Scott is back there, clearing his lines. Jones heads it back in, it's flipped on by White, and the ball could still fall for White, but uh, the shot really lacking power there. And White a bit frustrated with himself, I think, that... Uh, he didn't get more power on that shot as uh, Leaning clears his lines. And uh, a free kick this time given against Billy Clark with a push on Bob Taylor. Taken by Hazelwood for Llewellyn. And uh, Taylor <laughs> bundled to the ground there by Billy Clark. And that was rather silly by the Rovers defender because the ball was going nowhere other than behind for a goal kick and uh, it's now going to be a free kick instead to Bristol City which Martin Scott will take left footed taken it's just too high there for uh, Mark Hazelwood and uh, Twentyman will just clear it anywhere and in fact it goes into touch so, oh, another throw to City. Skipper Rob Newman will take it. And uh, this occasion, Bob Taylor can't redirect his uh, pass back to Bob Newman. So it's going to be Alexander with the throw for uh, Rovers. Parkin will dribble it across his area. Kick right-footed. Parkin, who's just come back into the Rovers side after missing a couple of games with an eye injury. These would this time loses out to Weiss. The ball finds its way to Holloway on that uh, far side. He has to check back though. Finds Alexander. And again, 
Liverpool even further back to Twentyman. Twentyman forward for White. White gets the flick on. It's going to have to be uh, a challenge there by Llewellyn on Saunders. Does well, forces Rovers back. It's uh, Vaughan Jones who gets in. And uh, well, Matthew Bryant does well on this occasion under pressure from David Mayhew. And uh, looking for an option. And this time he takes the long one. As, uh, Donna was not there on this occasion. A throw in then to Bristol Rovers. Ian Alexander will take it. And indeed, he won't take it because uh, Rovers are going to make a substitution. Alexander, of course, took that knock a little earlier on and has been struggling a little bit. And it's going to be Ian Wilmot to come on. I think that will probably mean that uh, Vaughan Jones will move across to right back and Wilmot will slot in at left back. And that indeed is what is going to happen. And so Vaughan Jones will now go across to take the throw on that far side for Bristol Rovers. Headed on by White. But, uh, Mr Groves decides it was a foul throw, so that's going to be... Well, I'm not sure quite what's going on at the moment. Mr Groves has given the throw to... Rovers, which Jones takes, headed on by White to Saunders. Saunders with a bit of space. Rennie is back there though, and Pounder really given no chance to get on the end of that uh, pass from Saunders. So the ball played by Taylor to uh, Rennie. Rennie. Checks back to Andy Llewellyn. Gets the ball back from the City fullback. And then plays the ball rather aimlessly into space. Only as far as Brian Parkin. He will uh, clear his lines once again. Sanders is up. And he finds Donovan with his header. And uh, challenge from pull away, he's not a good one, a free kick to City, and Mark Azerwood to take it, as we come up to the end of normal time at the end of the first half, Llewellyn forward for Taylor, Taylor shrugs off the challenge but uh, not able to set up David Rennie. Indeed, we are now into injury time at the end of the first half. Matty Bryant comes up to take the long throw for uh, City, and uh, what better time to get a goal in any match, let alone a local derby, than now. As Bryant takes the corner, Rennie heads it on, falls for Taylor, back to Llewellyn, it's still not cleared. Scott um, Clark is above... Uh, Taylor there and the ball almost falling for Shelton but not quite and uh, finds its way somehow into the hands of Parkin Donovan gets in the header finds Nicky Morgan he's got uh, Jones with him but uh, checks back for Scott finds Newman Newman forward for uh, Shelton to lay off to Donawa to Rennie, Rennie forward for Morgan, just hit over here a little bit and uh, Wilmot clears towards Saunders, Saunders to Holloway, Holloway to Pounder, Pounder now at the end of this first half running at the City defence, it's a timely interception there by Rennie and uh, some careless play by City and uh, Llewellyn has to rescue them. Uh, Saunders almost got on that uh, pass back which 
was really going nowhere. A misdirected pass, I think you'd have to call that. And uh, indeed, Llewellyn even won a goal kick for uh, Bristol City. Uh, there's some sloppy defending there, sloppy passing, at any rate. And uh, the ball forward now for Taylor to chase, finds Donawa. So could there be a sensational end to this first half? Donawa checks back, gets it on his right foot, blocked by Vaughan Jones, cleared into touch. We're now two minutes into injury time. It's still City nil, Rovers nil. Played back by Taylor to Donawa. Donawa to Scott. Scott lifts the ball in towards the area. Morgan can only chest it out to uh, Rod Newman. But ball cleared by Vaughan Jones. And uh, Devon White challenges there with uh, Scott. And uh, Scott does well to uh, win a throw in off of David Mayhew. Didn't really get the ball under control there. So, taken quickly. And again, City lose out, but they find Scott through Shelton. But, uh, that's not a good ball. And it will go behind for a goal kick to Bristol Rovers. So, coming up for nearly three minutes of injury time now. It's still City nil, Rovers nil. City certainly having the clear-cut chances but on terms as the half-time whistle goes it's City nil, Rovers nil and uh, City will reflect on those chances especially in the opening 20 minutes when the Rovers defence was carved open but at half-time nothing to show for it it's City nil, Rovers nil So after our half-time break, ready to go again, it's going to be Rovers kicking towards the covered end to kick off. Carl Saunders and Andy Reese over the ball as Mr Groves just checks his watch and his linesman again. Just to remind you that both sides have made a substitution. It's David Rennie for Andy May for Bristol City and uh, the player going off for Bristol Rovers was Ian Alexander player replacing him, Ian Wilmot. So, leaning, kicking towards the uh, open end, find Nicky Morgan, but uh, the ball is played away by Rovers. It's now with Martin Scott, forward for Taylor, Shelton, forward for uh, Donoma, but uh, Donoma wins the throw in. Bit of casual play there by uh, Vaughan Jones. And, uh, he's going to leave the throw in is Louis Donawa to Matty Bryant. Takes most of the city throws now in the, these positions. Long one. Only finds the head of uh, Vaughan Jones. Only though as far as Bob Newman who plays it back for Martin Scott to hoist one into the area. But now a chance for Rovers to break and it's Pounder he's got a lot of pace and uh, Shelton does well to get back and uh, well really I couldn't see too much wrong with that challenge from Gary Shelton but Mr Groves has given a free kick to uh, Bristol Rovers smile on the referee's face but I don't think that smile is shared by the uh, City defenders it's a free kick then in a dangerous position here for Bristol Rovers it's going to be Vaughan Jones I think who will take it although Ian Holloway is there so too is Andy Reese. touch to Jones Jones gets in the shot and Leaney makes a great save well struck by the Rovers skipper well saved by Andy Leaning. So, more positive start to the second half by Rovers as Reese prepares to take the corner. Long, Devon White is up, but Bob Taylor does well, and uh, Shelton now has a chance to come away. Finds Matty Bryant. Bryant being pursued by uh, 
White, but uh, he does well. Gets uh, Donawa in. Can Donawa get in a shot? Squares it back. Shoots just past the post, and Billy Clark did extremely well to get out the way of that uh, searing shot there from Louis Donawa. But uh, really, the City winger only in the side this evening because Dave Smith has got a hamstring injury has uh, proved his worth for Bristol City. Fine bit of skill from Louis Donawa. And uh, the finish almost as good. Just past the post, it's a goal kick to Bristol Rovers. White a free header. Looks for Mayhew. Falls off the head of Scott for Holloway. Back to uh, Vaughan Jones. King for Devon White. And, uh, Andy Llewellyn cuts it out. Finds Bob Taylor. Keeps it in play. Clark is going to have to play it. He can play it back to his keeper, Parkin. Newman is under this one, finds Donawa. This time loses out to uh, Holloway and Vaughan Jones. It's played forward by Clark for Saunders. But Hazelwood is there, finds Scott. Scott to Newman. Newman. Just calms things down a bit, gets it back to Andy Leaning. Spreads it wide then for Andy Llewellyn. And, uh, no options there really for the uh, City fullback, so it's back to his goalkeeper. Twenty men forward for Saunders. White battle as well there, but can't uh, set all the way up. And Shelton back to his keeper. Again releases the ball quickly to Scott. Finds Hazelwood. Hazelwood really fouled there late by uh, Carl Saunders. And uh, Hazelwood not too happy about it. Mr. Groves has gone across to have a word with his uh, linesman and uh, the book comes out for Carl Saunders in fact it was Devon White I thought it was Carl Saunders but it was Devon White the yellow card is out free kick any rate to uh, City and a booking for Devon White so it's Andy Llewellyn and Devon White who have been uh, booked in the game so far back to Llewellyn forward for Morgan Morgan keeps his feet quite well really under that challenge Taylor has to check back ball is played in over the head of uh, 20 minutes Jones who clears it it's a throw into City Bryant checks back and loses out this time to Devon White that's a throw into uh, City. Well, we'll take it. Picked on by Rennie. Rennie challenges fellow substitute Wilmot. Concedes the throw in this time, which Wilmot will take. White on to Saunders unable to gather it's Hazelwood who finds Scott inside the centre circle for City ball hit long, Jones is under this one and again City get there first, Donawa tangling with Saunders and then Scott in on Saunders and Donawa finally cleaning things up as uh, the ball is played to Mark Hazelwood Hazelwood up to the halfway line. Plays it across to Andy Llewellyn. Finds Dave Rennie out on that uh, far touch line. Looking for an option. Plays it down the line for Taylor, who uh, slips his marker, gets into the box. What can Taylor do here? And has a good save from Parkin. And uh, 
The ball still not uh, gathered. It's a corner. And that really was a bizarre incident as the ball bobbled around inside that uh, Rovers area. It's as though Parkin had the ball. It slipped from his grasp. And City get a corner. Scott will take it. Headed out. Mayhew will clear. Donova is with uh, the Rovers forward. And uh, it's going to be a, a City throw. Which Llewellyn will take. Looking a bit tight over there as it's another throw in. Wilmot will take it for Rovers. White on for Saunders. Saunders shields the ball. But, uh, so too does Andy Llewellyn and uh, City get the throw in. Played forward for uh, Morgan. Morgan to Newman. Newman changing direction. Finding Louis Donova. Scott in a bit of space further forward. And he get in his cross. Plays it against the legs of David Mayhew. Taylor does well. Wins a corner off of uh, Vaughan Jones. So what can City do here? A corner on the left, which I think Louis Donner will, will take. No one in too much hurry to take it. There is Donner. Donner, right-footed. Not a good one this time, it's headed out only though as far as Shelton. Donova again with the uh, cross. Just a wee bit behind uh, David Rennie, but he did well as he tries to thread it through for Morgan. Oh, he's hit the post and uh, that looked to be floating well wide and Brian Parkin had let it go. But uh, Morgan has fired against the post for City and perhaps they're now wondering whether it's going to be their night. Good effort there from Nicky Morgan. But Parkin survives and so do Rovers. It's Taylor. So Wilmot on the ball at the moment. Tries to clear his lines, does so. Only far as far though as Hazelwood and it's City who come back again. Scott on the ball. Plays it forward, not a good ball. Jones is able to cut this one out, but Mayhew loses out to Shelton. Scott will go back to retrieve it. To Shelton. To Donawa. And uh, Donawa on this occasion trips Rovers skipper Vaughan Jones. It's going to be a free kick to Bristol Rovers. Twentyman will take it. White loses out to Aitowood. To Taylor, layoff for Newman. And the ball forward for Shelton. What can Shelton do here? Shelton with a good chance inside the box, and it's Twentyman who is able to uh, get it back off a ricochet to. Uh, Brian Parkin, I think it came off of uh, Andy Reese in the end, but uh, that was a good chance for City, players waiting in the middle, but uh, Twentyman intercepting the cross from Shelton, so City on top yet again in this second half, but now Saunders battles well, wins the challenge, but City win the throw, Bryant, Wilmot is there, so too is Newman for City. And uh, Bryant will clear this one long. And uh, Clark has got to go back to retrieve. Morgan is across as well. No chances taken there by Billy Clark. This throw in is taken by Rennie. Back to Andy Llewellyn. Forward to Mickey Morgan. 
Rennie on the ball now. Has to check back. Newman forward for uh, Rennie, but he stayed offside. Shelton, in fact, who'd strayed offside. It's a free kick to Bristol Rovers. Just on the edge of their own penalty area. It's uh, Brian Parkin now in possession. So we come up to 13 minutes in this second half. Hazelwood misses the header. That's uh, Scott who can clear. Finds Donawa. Donawa this time. Can't get past his man, but uh, wins a throw in for City, which uh, Rob Newman will take. Plays it uh, short to Martin Scott. Scott, long ball forward. It's Clark under this one. Falls for Shelton, no inside the centre circle, and it's played back towards Andy Llewellyn, and uh, Clark there just allows it to go through to Brian Parkin. Billy Clark, who has missed a lot of league football with a a back injury, been out for a long time. Also had some knee problems. And uh, recalled from a lone spell with uh, Bath City. But it's Rovers attacking at the moment. Pounder to White. White can't really direct his header with any power. Andy Leaning gathers and quickly sets Donawa away. Donawa will run now at uh, Vaughan Jones. He's made a lot of ground. Ball on his right foot, finds Rob Newman. Newman inside the box, gets in the shot. Gets a little bit of a deflection off of Jeff Twentyman. Parkin is down. Saves comfortably. Newman under this one with Holloway. And, uh, it's not really going to go anywhere this time, other than to... Brian Parkin. Ben Newman wins out and his duel with Ian Holloway. Finds Donald this time he checks back, finds Scott to Bob Newman. It's uh, so a little bit short and uh, Devon White now has a chance to uh, come forward, but uh, Mark Hazelwood takes his legs and the free kick will go to Bristol Rovers Mr Groves just has a quick word with Hazelwood Clark prepares to take the free kick for Bristol Rovers urging his men forward really need to make a few more inroads in this second half indeed in the game as a whole and City who've uh, taken up uh, most of the uh, attacking options as uh, ball is hoisted forward again Newman wins out in his duel with uh, Saunders but that's a good ball in from Holloway and uh, Matty Bryant does well to head the ball behind for a corner that was a good cross in from Ian Holloway and uh, Really, Rovers is an attacking force of, of lacked ideas this evening. And have had to play second fiddle for long spells to City as Rees kicks the corner deep. And uh, White is up straight into the hands of uh, Andy Leaning. And uh, the ball is played out to Donawa. Donawa will again have a run at the Rovers' defence. Gets the ball back uh, courtesy of Vaughan Jones there. It's tangled up and uh, plays a one-two, attempted one-two with uh, Shelton, but the uh, ball is cleared by May, who finds Saunders. Saunders to Holloway, to uh, Saunders, and uh, another tackle patters in. The free kick is taken quickly, and uh, this time Pounder has a bit of room on that uh, far side. Pounder onto the edge of the box, lays it back for Saunders. Saunders completely misses his kick, and uh, Shelton clears into touch on that far side. A throw in to Bristol Rovers. Wilmot with the throw for Rovers. Bryant gives Saunders no room. Ball is cleared into the packed 
Dolman stand. It's a throw in now to Rovers, which Wilmot will again take. Play to Saunders. Saunders back to Wilmot. Cross comes in. White is up. And uh, well, Devon White will be disappointed with that. Free header. Not directed. And uh, well wide of the post. And Andy Leaning will take a goal kick for Bristol City. So, Reese takes it up for Rovers. Forward towards White, takes it on his chest. Back to uh, Mayhew, and ball still goes for White. White with a chance, and it comes off the legs of Andy Leaning, and possibly off the back of Martin Scott as well. And Scott is down needing some treatment. Uh, I have a feeling that probably Martin Scott just caught a boot as Andy Leaning came out to smother that effort from Devon White. Just caught him in the small of the back. Rob Newman, the city skipper, just comes over to check that he's all right. Takes up his position back in that uh, six-yard box. Martin Scott gets up a little bit gingerly. And uh, Reese will take the corner for Bristol Rovers. Good catch there by Andy Leaning. Really has played extremely well both this evening and in the previous few games. Really has been on the top of his form and has done well for City as uh, they take it up now with Morgan. The shot though blocked. Falls for Mayhew. Mayhew down the line to Saunders. Saunders will spread it to the left where Pounder is able to get onto the ball. Pounder with uh, Andy Llewellyn, but uh, Llewellyn giving him no room on this occasion. And the ball is back to Andy Leaney. Rennie to Shelton to Llewellyn, back to Rennie. Rennie for Taylor. And uh, ball goes out of play on that far side. Taylor gives the linesman a bit of a stare, thinking it might well have been a, a city ball, but uh, it goes to Rovers. Wilmot will take it. Saunders, Hazelwood in on white, throw into Bristol Rovers. Almost 21 minutes gone in this second half. City nil, Rovers nil. Wilmot will take the throw for Rovers. Rennie is under this one. Back to Wilmot. And goes behind for another goal kick to Bristol City. City, of course, have not won a local derby for five years. Goes back to March 86, and they won by two goals to nil here at Ashton Gate. Alan Walsh and Steve Neville were the scorers on that occasion. And indeed, Alan Walsh here at Ashton Gate this evening. Come back for a couple of days from Turkey. Well, he's now playing for Pesiktas in uh, the Turkish League. Taylor takes the city. It's going to be another throw to them. And if Rovers avoid defeat tonight, then will be a record 11th local derby without defeat. As Bryant gets in his long throw, falls for Bob Taylor. Taylor into the box, Donovan with the header. But, uh, just bounces a little bit awkwardly in front of uh, Brian Parkin, but uh, that wasn't a fumble. Just, uh, goalkeeper's habit, perhaps, of uh, 
palming the ball down in front so that he can dribble the ball in his area but uh, it's Rovers now on the attack White wanting a bit too much time Shelton falls on the ball but he's tripped and that's a free kick to Bristol City which Brian takes quickly across to Scott forward by Scott for Taylor this time the offside flag is up not been too many of those this evening on that occasion Taylor a couple of yards offside didn't quite time his run properly Twentyman will take the free kick for Rovers Newman is there and this far is Jones Jones though far too high the shot and uh, another goal kick to Bristol City Leaning will take it happy there with Andy Leaning and a good kick from the city keeper throw into Rovers Bryant in quickly on Saunders it's uh, to Newman Donovan now will go forward but, uh, May who is there and uh, Rovers certainly playing two players on Donovan on Donovan at the moment it's Newman to Scott Hazelwood there's the ball to the opposite flank, finds Andy Llewellyn. Llewellyn into the box. Holloway is there. Morgan just uh, does enough to uh, force Wilmot into an error, but the ball back in is not a good one from City. And uh, Brian Parkin now has another chance to clear his lines. Saunders, away from Hazelwood, comes inside Scott, Scott recovers well but uh, ball played by Reese to Holloway, Holloway with Hazelwood with him, and uh, Hazelwood concedes the throw in, which uh, Vaughan Jones will take. throw it's uh, Rennie who gets it away it's uh, hooked back in by uh, 20 minutes a corner which Reese will take now it's Rovers turn to attack Reese with the corner played deeper this time but uh, it's headed down, it's Hazelwood who gets it away and uh, Billy Clark has to knock it forward and now Saunders is behind the City defence and there's Hazelwood and my word, that's a strange clearance from the uh, City defender gets away with it and uh, Martin Scott is there as well exchanges passes with his goalkeeper and he leaning but a bit of uncertainty there in the City defence, Donoa now. Wins a throw in off of David Mayhew. Rob Newman with the throw to Martin Scott. Scott forward, looking for Bob Taylor, finds him to Donoa out on this left flank. Gets in the cross. In comes Morgan on the bar and Parkin remonstrates with his defenders. And uh, Nicky Morgan sees his he strong header come off the top of the bar and over. But what a great cross from Louis Donoa and what a good header from Nicky Morgan. He'd perhaps be a little bit disappointed that it wasn't a little lower. But uh, City, again, breaking quickly and positively. City nil, Rovers nil.
Newman up. Jones forward. Hazelwood tussling with uh, Devon White. The free kick goes against City. So a free kick in another dangerous position. Set pieces really Rovers Forte with a lot of goals from set pieces and this man Ian Holloway is the man that sets them up floated in again Hazelwood is up bit of hesitancy there and uh, finally it's Andy Leaning who dives on the ball as Jeff Twentyman goes in there no panic though from the city keeper as he kicks right footed Flick on there by David Rennie. And, uh, well, free kick is given. One can only assume that uh, Mickey Morgan was leaning on. All right, the free kick goes to Bristol Rovers. Jeff Twentyman will take it. And 16 minutes left. And we're still awaiting the first goal in this local derby. Bryant up well, ball with Reese finds Jones, Jones to Holloway, to Saunders, and Saunders almost getting Reese in there. And Scott clears. And Rovers come forward again, and there's a mistake by Hazelwood, and uh, Devon White is through, he's down, it's a penalty. Yes, a penalty to Rovers and disaster for Bristol City. Devon White goes down. Mr. Groves gives the penalty. Andy Leaning really committed to the challenge on Devon White. And what a glorious opportunity now for Bristol Rovers. They've soaked up the pressure this evening. It's been City who've had the better chances, and now Ian Holloway has the chance of putting Rovers in front. And Leaning has saved it. A great save from the City keeper. And how fortunes can change. He wants to get on with the game, but what a great save from Andy Leaning. Diving away to his left, he saved Ian Holloway's penalty. And how significant will that be? Leaning, the hero of the moment. A let off for City. And Mark Hazelwood, I'm sure, the most relieved man at Ashton Gate at the moment. The ball now back with Parkin. So the penalty miss in the 74th minute of the game. We've now got under a quarter of an hour to go 14 minutes in fact to go a free kick to Bristol City Mark Hazelwood will take it long onto the head of Twentyman Shelton to Llewellyn Shelton forward again for uh, Bob Taylor but uh, Saunders comes away Saunders finds Devon White White back to Vaughan Jones Jones forward rather aimlessly and uh, City will race back to get the ball Hazelwood this time making no mistake with his back pass and leaning will clear calls for handball ignored as Scott gets uh, the ball to Donova, Newman to Scott, Scott forward, just alongside of Bob Taylor, it's through to Brian Parkin. So are we destined for a nil-nil draw here? Rovers have missed the penalty, City have hit the woodwork twice and had other opportunities to go in front and still we are goalless with just about 13 and a half minutes 
to go, 12 and a half minutes to go. The ball forward, Saunders to chase, Bryant is there, he takes no chances this time. The ball into touch on that far side of the field. And the clock there in the background, you will see at about 27 minutes past nine. The game, of course, late kicking off with so many people wanting to get into the ground. And they've seen the drama so far of a missed penalty and the Rovers woodwork hit twice. It's Wilmot at the moment as City have to defend. It's a corner on the far side of the field. The Rovers left. And that missed penalty, of course, from Ian Holloway who is just about to take the corner for Rovers. Play to the near post, it's flipped away by Bob Newman. It uh, falls for Bob Taylor, Taylor to Donawa. Donawa now with a bit of space. It's making ground down this left-hand flank. He's got Billy Clark with him. What can Donawa do this time? He's got to pass Clark, he's got him to cross, but Clarkin is there this time. But every time Donawa gets the ball, it's his pace that causes Rovers problems on this occasion parking equal to the cross and still we have no goals Scott is up Holloway intercepts Newman is up or bobbling around the road, but Newman hoists it forward. Morgan is chasing with Twentyman. Twentyman wins out this time at the expense of a throw in. Newman to Scott. Forward for Taylor. He gets the knockdown for Morgan. Can Morgan get in his shot? He does. Wide of a post. But again, creating space for himself and uh, he and Bob Taylor linking up well there but still no goal Parkin with the goal kick and uh, Bryant wins the header that's it City concede a free kick. A foul on Devon White. Jones takes the free kick. Finds Wilmot. Wilmot in towards Devon White. Falls to Bob Newman who uh, gets Donner away and Donner will this time try to outpace Vaughan Jones. Uh, it's Vaughan Jones who gets the free kick there. And Mr. Groves not making himself too popular at the moment. As uh, Jeff Twentyman prepares to take this free kick for Rovers. Just inside his own half. There's the halfway line. Hit forward towards Devon White. It's a City again win out in the air. And uh, Shelton now has a chance to break. Shelton to Louis Donawa. Donawa, will he take on Jones this time? Checks back, puts it on his right foot. Finds Scott. Scott into the box. It's headed out towards Holloway. Holloway, though, loses out to Morgan. Finds Newman. Newman to Andy Llewellyn. Llewellyn will chip it back in. He does so. Rennie goes... It's uh, Shelton, rather, who goes down. But uh, no foul, and uh, Rovers will clear their lines. Ball falls for Devon White, but he's dispossessed by Hazelwood, but that's not a good ball from Scott. And although Twentyman miscues his attempted clearance, it's Vaughan Jones who gets it back to Brian Parkin. So just about eight minutes on the clock to go. City nil. Rovers nil in this local derby at Ashton Gate before a very large crowd indeed and, uh, the ball at the moment with Andy Llewellyn finds Dave Rennie out on that 
right-hand touchline. Ball is crossed in, and uh, Vaughan Jones takes no chances with Donoma behind him. It's behind for a corner to Bristol City. So, can City snatch a winner? Donoa with the corner for Bristol City. And indeed, City want to make a substitution. It's going to be Wayne Allison for Nicky Morgan. So both City substitutes now on the field. David Rennie, of course, a first-half substitute for the injured Andy May. And Nicky Morgan has gone off and Wayne Allison comes on as Donoa takes this corner. Newman is up. Falls, though, for Taylor on the opposite flank. Has to check back. Finds Scott. Scott forward. Hit rather too firmly. Goes behind for a goal kick to Bristol Rovers. Clark thinks about the short one, but uh, Parkin not really interested. Parking then with the goal kick. Again, City win out in the air, and there's Allison almost getting through, but uh, squeezed out of things by two Rovers defenders. Rovers kill a bit more time as Jones plays it back once again to Parkin. Longer kick this time from the Rovers keeper. White gets up well, it's packed away, go off the chest of uh, Bob Taylor and uh, it's Hazelwood who uh, gets it uh, down to Wayne Allison to Donawa, Donawa cuts inside, just checks back a moment, finds Martin Scott, Scott thinks about knocking it long but then plays it to his flank and to Louis Donawa, it's only on to the head of uh, Billy Clark, Donawa up with uh, Vaughan Jones and neither make contact so it's a throw to Bristol City and uh, Scott has a chance to hoist this one into the box Allison is up and uh, appeals for handball but uh, Mr Groves not impressed by that appeal, mostly one has to say from the crowd so we're in to the last five minutes of normal time City nil, Rovers nil, White is up with Hazelwood, Saunders lays it off for Holloway, Holloway with Rob Newman in front of him, gets in a low across this time, Mayhew takes a swing, it comes off of Scott, Newman lays it calmly to Donoa, Donoa back to Martin Scott, Scott forward for Taylor, Taylor, bad ball there to, only finds Mayhew but uh, Jones then knocks it straight into the path of a City player and can Allison keep this in because uh, a bit of a miscue from Park in there as uh, City substitute almost got on to that so Matty Bryant with the long throw for Bristol City four minutes left Bryant with the throw it's headed on by Rennie effort from Shelton past the post goal kick Park in, in no hurry to take the goal kick. Point, of course, with Holt. A run of defeats away from home for Rovers. They've still got some defending to do yet. As Jones takes a throw in for Bristol Rovers on the halfway line forward towards Devon White, loses out, Donoa is shielding the ball, plays it inside to Rob Newman, Newman, long ball forward but uh, comes off of Andy Reese. luckily for City it bounces for Dave Rennie, Rennie calmly plays it back to Mark Hazelwood, Hazelwood to Bryant, and Bryant will hit the ball forward, only onto the head of David Mayhew, Saunders now for Rovers on the halfway line, back to Ian Holloway, Holloway forward for Pounder. He can't keep it in. 
throw in to City. Two minutes left. Rennie on for City. Ball is played forward again. Finds Saunders. He's offside. May well have been uh, Devon White, in fact, in the middle. So, Matt Bryant will take the free kick for Bristol City. Knocked up towards those front men. It's headed on by Allison for Donawa. Donawa shot. Saved by Parkin, but Donawa follows up. It's a goal to City. And with very little time left, Louis Donawa has scored for Bristol City. And look at the joy of the City players as Donawa gets out of the back of the net. He scored for Bristol City. And surely now City have ended five years of misery with a victory over their local rivals. They're still... Just about a minute left on the clock. It's City 1, Bristol Rovers 0. Louis Donawa, the scorer. And City ecstatic, but still a minute to go. And their fans celebrating already. But the players know that they've still got minutes to play and they've got to play it out as Allison plays the ball to Scott. Scott forward. Ball off the Rovers defender for a throw in to Bristol City. Scott now for City. Down the line, but that's not a good ball. It's into touch. So Louis Donawa the player who wouldn't have been playing had it been for an injury to Dave Smith is now the hero of the hour he and Andy Leaning Leaning saving a penalty on 74 minutes and Donawa scoring the all important goal in the 89th minute Llewellyn clear Twentyman has to uh, retrieve and Taylor almost in on uh, parking but parking quickly out whistles around the ground now for Mr Groves to blow that final whistle we're into injury time a free kick for Bristol Rovers could this be their last chance Rovers get to players forward City get them behind the ball. Holloway comes out to take the free kick for Bristol Rovers. It's City 1, Rovers 0. Holloway with the kick. It comes off the head of David Rennie. Rob Newman will clear it anywhere now. Goes into touch. A throw in to Bristol Rovers. A minute of injury time played. The whistles echoing round Ashton Gate. Vaughan Jones urging his men into that penalty area as he takes the long throw Scott is up Jones lets it go out for another throw anxious moments for, Ro for Rovers and for City but City have got the goal that matters Holloway gets the cross in off his head it's Bryant who uh, completes the clearance in fact it was Martin Scott who completed the clearance it was Bryant who headed it out it's Vaughan Jones now with another throw in begging the referee to stop his watch while he retrieves the ball Vaughan Jones then with the throw for Bristol Rovers can they grab a dramatic equaliser it's Allison who's up Shelton up Bryant who clears and there goes the whistle City have won for the first time in five years in a league derby and the man who's won it for them, Louis Donawa, with an 89th minute goal. And of course, a penalty save from Andy Leaning in the 74th minute of the game. The crowd here of over 22,000. Most of them at the City End now celebrating that win after five years in exile, so to speak. Louis Donawa 
the scorer of the goal up, 89 minutes, the players going off to rapturous applause and thoroughly deserved, and a thoroughly deserved victory too for Bristol, R Bristol City as uh, the City players punch the air and go into the tunnel. It finished Bristol City 1, Bristol Rovers 0.